Hey, today we're going to look at Zed with container use. If you haven't tried Zed, it is a really cool, minimal, elegant editor, pretty fast, written in Rust. Check it out. And they're really trying to make it great for the DX of humans and agents in Collab. So uh, with container use, that gives you the ability to have environments for those coding agents that don't just scramble your files on your laptop, but do everything inside of containers. So let's set that up with Zed. Really easy, we've got a rules file that we'll look at in a second that will keep the agent on the rails. And we have a simple MCP config right here. So let's jump over to look at this in Zed. So uh, in Zed, everything's really easy to collapse or expand. Here's the side, uh, you know, Explorer. We've got uh, terminal on or off, etc. cetera. And uh, this one down here with the sparkles, that's the agent panel. So we'll be looking at that in a second. Now I mentioned rules, so let's actually add um, some rules here. I've got a container use rule that I'm adding and I want to show it to you here in this rules library they have. So I just took that file that we mentioned. You can do dot files and other things, but I like this idea of using the rules library. So I have this always at the ready. Additionally, something to pay attention to in this agent panel. Of course, you've got your different models. I'm using Claude Sonnet 4, but this profile thing is really important. I'd love to do some custom profiles. I haven't done that yet. But so you know, the minimal profile means no tools, no MCP at all. So we don't want that. Ask is read only tools. Could be cool, but for us, we need tools that can write, even though we're going to write into our own containerized environments. So we're choosing write. Now let's take a look at settings up here to see how things are doing. And indeed, we see container use is good to go. We've got all of our tools active, 10 tools for environments. Awesome. Okay, let's go back. Everything happens in threads here. So you can have multiple threads. I just need this one to start and you can see this is my project. There's not a lot happening in here. Simple readme. So I'm going to start talking to Claude and say, give me a simple hello Z flask app in an environment, just, you know, to emphasize, uh, and return the URL to me. So if we say, see you list here, we can see I was messing around with some environments earlier. I'm going to clean those up. So I'm going to say, see you delete this one and see you delete this other one. Awesome. So now if I see you list, I can see this new organic Mako that just got created. And we're starting to do some things with CU on the side. And in fact, there are other things you can do with CU. Let's just expand this and take a look. So I can do checkouts of an environment. I can delete environments like I just showed you. I can do diffs. I can list those environments if I have multiples, get a log of all the checkpoints in the Git work tree, uh, merge those changes into my current Git branch, uh, drop into a terminal of an environment after it's been built. Very, very cool. And watch, will let me see like all the environments that are happening and what's happening with them. Um, so if I do see you watch just for fun, uh, you can see we just have that one organic Mako environment at this point, and there's a couple of changes that were made along the way. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at that. I can say, again, CU list, that is my environment name. So now I'll say CU log of that, and we can see those changes that happened after my initial commit in the Git history. Um, then we have all these other ones that happened. So cool. Um, well, let's take a look at it first. So over in this panel, it says I can navigate here and take a look. So I'll grab this really quick and I'll go back to my web browser. Cool. All right, we've got a hello Zed. Really basic, but that'll be a good start. So we'll say, okay, uh, see you merge that organic Mako. Now and only now do I get the changes actually locally committed. So now I can say, great, you know, from here, give me two versions in environments. Let's just say just separate environments. One version is rainbow themed and the other is, well, we got Mako, so how about shark themed and go. So now we can say CU list here and now we've got a renewed aardvark um, happening as well and it's starting with the rainbow theme. Okay. And I'm just going to close this Z Pro window up here. Cool. So we've created the rainbow theme and now it's creating another environment. Aha. With the shark. Got it. So, and you can see that it's basing them all on the organic Mako. So organic Mako is the root of either one. And then we've got a weighted turkey is the shark. Renewed aardvark is the rainbow. 
And so if I see you watch from here, uh, as we actually see changes rolling in, they should start uh, piling up you know, in those different environments. Now, while this is happening, of course, I can um, you know, go away. I can go do something else. I can say, oh, all right, I'm going to close this. You know, I can come back to it. It's still running. But then I can go and you know, if I want to do something in my README or I want to do something in another project, do some other work, all this stuff is happening in the background, in environments, and indeed, and indeed it hasn't changed anything yet from this basic Hello Z app. And it won't until I decide to accept those changes. So let's take a look again. Let's peek back at what's happening here. And we can see these guys have kind of started to diverge and go their own ways, whether it be Rainbow or Shark. And then we'll also go back to our agent panel and take a look here. Um, okay. So we've got them right here, it says. So let's grab this one here. Oh, wow. That's a Z one in the rainbow. Very cool. And now let's grab this shark one as well. Oh, very nice. Very cool. So, you know, depending on which one I'm into, I could grab uh, either one. And here I might say at this point, you know, maybe I like the shark. I'm going to stick with this Mako theme. So now I'm going to, uh, okay, I've got some instructions here too. So I can actually check that out if I want. I could just merge it straight away or I could say, you know, see you check out that one here. So now I'm on that branch itself and I can take a look here and I can, I can actually take a look at the app.py, uh, things like that. Let's just cat it out. Cool. Wow. Yeah. We have a bunch of bubbles and here are all the animation effects and all that good stuff like that. Very, very cool. Um, and now what I could do is I could say, uh, you know, get checkout main and I could see you merge the awaited Turkey. And I've just merged those changes in. Very, very cool. And I could even say that I don't want the other one. I'm done with it, but, or I could keep it. So I could also say, you know what, I want to get a terminal and go take a little bit of a look inside of this rainbow one over here. So now I'm going to recreate that environment inside a container using dagger under the hood to help me with that. And then I'll have a terminal and I can actually take a look around. Um, and all those tools that I need in order to actually run this should be available to me there, which is really, really cool. Now, here we go. So now I'm in here and I should be able to say Python app.py. And mm, and this is a Ubuntu base, it looks like, or a Debian base. Awesome. And there's that rainbow theme one with all that good stuff going on. Cool. So that's, you know, running locally in there as well and um, fun stuff. So, you know, pretty easy to set up. Um, definitely, definitely encourage anybody that's thinking about doing some work with agents. It's great to have these environments to allow you to do these different experiments. And it works really, really well. Container use and Zed uh, make a great combination. So definitely suggest you checking it out. And the instructions are all here. Um, really love Zed. A lot of us here at Dagger are using it. So um, great job, Zed team. Thanks so much.